What's up video bloggers? I hope everyone out there is doing well. I'm doing fantastic, thank you. So before I go into today's topic, I want to express to you why I vlog the way I do. You know, talking about, uh, you know, physical abuse and post-traumatic stress disorder. The reason why I talk about these things that are very uh, delicate is because, you know, growing up I had never had a lot of guidance. So as a young adult, I tailored myself to be the person that I wish I had to guide me when I was a kid. So uh, with that said, um, I need to tell you, or actually I want to tell you, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> you're so gay. <laughs> oh boy. All right. If you're not gay, if you're heterosexual, stick around. That was actually just, you know, to the gay population of viewers that frequent my channel stick around you might learn something so um, you know I'm a very out and proud gay male I'm so out that if you tried to out me in public it wouldn't work I wouldn't be embarrassed in the least All right. but that said I'm a very complex person and I have very complex and varying interests in other things you know I don't need my life to uh, be gay day in and day out, you know what I mean? I don't need, I don't want, my life is not saturated with gay music, gay movies, and gay media, alright? I do not eat, sleep, and shit gay, alright? And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I'm basically touching up on a vlog that I did last year when I talked about um, this uh, lesbian comedian that was on Conan O'Brien's show. Her name is Cameron Esposito. And she was talking about, uh, well, you know, she had this five minute space, right, to do all of her comedy and stuff. But she chose to waste the first three minutes just talking about being a lesbian, you know, lesbian this, lesbian that. Good luck, guys. It's not going to work, kind of. You know what I mean? And I just feel that, you know, there is more to a person than your sexuality, you know? Let me, let me explain this to you, okay? My sexuality, who, whom I choose to sleep with, that is not my personality. It, it, it does not identify me to the core, all right? Um, and, you know, I know people have been saying this for a long time that I was born gay, you know, you know, I was born gay and stuff like that. Okay, I understand what you mean, all right, that it was something that happened in the womb, all right, it's definitely there's something something that happened then. Um, okay, uh, but at the same time, when you came out of your your mother, you were not waving a rainbow flag. All right. <laughs> okay, you were who you were born as. You know what I mean? So I it it bugs me when a lot of people come out and they completely. Um, what's the word? They completely betray who they were before that. Like, who you were before was a lie. No. Your sexuality, your sexual preference, whom you choose to frolic around in bed with, that's a completely different thing. But what happens is these people will actually make that their core identity. You know what I mean? I'm gay and that's all there is to me. You should never live your life like that. You know? I I don't understand why people would do that. You know, you basically... You betrayed the you that you once were. Okay? The child you once were. All the interests that you had. You know, maybe you liked drawing dinosaurs. Or, you know, maybe you liked... Um, uh, going uh, four wheeling and stuff like that, and then you come out, and then you're like, "Those are th those are so hetero things to do, and that's not who I am. And everything I am, everything I do from this point forward of coming out is going to be gay, gay, gay. So the world never confuses me as a heterosexual. So what, really? That that, that, that that's besides the point. You completely abandoned who you were. All right, now. My true core inside is not being gay. It's being an American Indian. All right. 
because um, it's something that I had to fight for. You know, not a, not a lot of bleh, sorry. You know, a lot of children, especially nowadays, uh, in this generation, they're either born on the reservation or they're born knowing that they're Native American or American Indian. All right, I um I wasn't born knowing that I was you know native. You know, I wasn't born in the community like that because of all the things that my mom went through being a victim of the boarding school incidents, which if you haven't seen that, it's in the earlier vlogs from last year. So, okay, so, um, so I had to fight to learn who I am, all right? And now I speak my language. I speak the Southern Athabascan Apachean language. I don't speak it fluently, but I speak it very uh, conversationally. And that's something I'm very, very proud of. And to me, like that being, be, be, being your culture is more important than professing or um, promoting your sexuality. You know, regardless of your heritage, you know, your cultural background. This is an eagle feather. This is my life. This is what I swear to uphold the spirit of this bird. Okay? And I, we all, all, almost all American Indians, you know, we aspire to be like the eagle. Okay? But before, you know, hold on, you know, a lot of times when people ask questions, people say things like, Hey, if you were to come back as an animal, like what would it be? You know? So someone asked me that question. And I actually had a long time to think about it because I've never been asked that question before. So I told them I said, you know, I'm sorry, you know, you know, they asked, uh, so I I bet because your last name is Black Eagle, I bet you'd probably want to come back as an eagle, right? I said, Nope. I actually want to come back as the animal that is on the bottom of the food chain. Like, why would you want to do that? I said, because when I come back the next time, I want to come back as the animal that's above the animal that was below, right? And so to actually learn that animal, live as that animal, walk as that animal, okay? And then when I have finally walked as all the other animals, and then flown as some of the other birds, I can say, you know what, I can actually fly as an eagle now, okay, because that's what the eagle is, the eagle is, the reason why we implement eagle feathers in our culture is because the eagle is the animal that flies the highest in the sky, and we use these feathers to pray with because the eagle actually sends the prayers up to the creator because he's the closest one. All right. So if I could be the eagle that was once a worm, a nematode, you know, and then, you know, maybe a dog or something, you know, a buffalo, you know, if I could, if I could be every single animal before I get to the eagle, that would really give me the perspective of who the eagle really is and why he is so treasured, why he's so revered, why he is so sacred. So to me, that's why this feather really, this is, this is my identity. This is my identity. But not as a gay Native American, but as an American Indian, as an Aboriginal, as an indigenous person of the Americas, okay. Who I go to bed with, that's, that's the last thing on the plate. That's for me and only for me, you know, to, to talk about, okay. Everything has its time, everything has its place. Um, so I hope you can take this teaching, which really is, you know, you know, like it really is like an eagle feather teaching. Okay. 
Uh, let me try and break it down to you too, because you know a lot of times in our lives, you know, we, uh, you know, you see, see the white part right here, this white part that symbolizes the purity. All this dark, the black and the brown and the burnt sienna colors that's in the feather right there, that actually represents the unknown. Okay, and so what happens is in our lives. You know, as you notice, this is actually the strongest part of the feather because it's actually the closest to the bottom right here, you know. So, in, you know, in our lives, you know, we have this tendency to, to do really good, you know, like to listen to people, okay. And then as we grow older and we start falling in with the wrong crowd, you know, um, you know, we start, you know, coming home late, disobeying our parents, you know what I mean, uh, um, yelling at our parents, cursing, you know what I mean, disobeying our our elders, you know what I mean, not being there for the younger ones and such, okay? Um, getting the wrong crowd, doing drugs, you know, alcohol, and, uh, you know, being someone that cannot be trusted, this is what your life is going to look like, okay? But this feather right here will teach you how to be, how to be straight, not in the heterosexual way, but to be straight, to be forward, to be a person that is square and just. So, this feather was me, one point in my life. Okay? As you know, as I've expressed in my other vlogs, what happened was, was I knew that that's not the life that I wanted. Alright? So, I started listening to my mom. Okay? Helping my dad out. Alright? Um... Trying to be there for other people in the family, not to be there only for myself, you know. Let others speak before I speak, even though I have a lot of things to talk about, you know what I mean. Expressing respect to other people before I, uh, before I expect respect in return. And so, you use this eagle feather in a good way, you know, if you sit silently with it, alright. It will teach you, and uh, you can actually get your life back on track. Cool? Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Uh, share this video, the vlog, the channel. Take care so much. Love you, and uh, see you later. Bye.